Hello again guys. Okay, update video on the PAR DS35. I'm hoping you can see things okay because it's a bit brighter that way around but from where I'm stood it's difficult to put things outside so hopefully things will be in focus and not too washed out and so on. So, a couple of things I've done with the PARD. Um, I've done the update which changed the zoom. So originally the zoom just had two zooms if you like. It's base MAGA 5.6 I think it was and then you turn the, the turret and it jumps straight up to 11.2 something like that and that was the only two magnifications you had. I've done the update on it so now it's got four different stages of zoom. The 5.6, I think it goes to 6.6, 9.2, something like that, and then up to the full 11.2 or something like that. But I'll do a recording and let you see all that. The other couple of things I've done to it, the laser range finder I've adjusted. Now it was firing almost halfway down the lower part of my reticle, so at about hash mark number 12, so it was really low in the viewfinder and it, every time I zoomed up it would never the, the rangefinder wouldn't get in there and I'd get a message saying it's out of range so sorry you I'm sure you won't see or whatever but on the laser rangefinder there's a little and basically it's just a little plastic sticker or it is on my one anyway this is a, a gen 2 so it's got the, the different or the latest laser rangefinder I believe now there's a little plastic sticker that goes over the, the lens of it and you just very carefully pop that off and then you see the four screws that are holding it in and by tightening and loosening those four screws you can adjust where your laser rangefinder is aiming and at night obviously you can see the splash so at night time I took that off there's not a massive range of it and it's not designed for that there's not a massive range of adjustment but I've managed to lift it right up almost level with my horizontal hash mark or cross line on my crosshair. So that's about bang on now. I've got it sort of bang on to where I sort of want it there. At 50 yards, 50 meters is my zero. It's just below that line. If I range find anything really close, like 20 meters or so, it's bang on the line. And again, slightly below it, further out, just the way that it, it, it's angled, I guess. Um, now the other thing I've done of course, having adjusted that, is I've adjusted the marker for the laser range finder for when you're using it in daytime etc like this. There's a little yellow box, um, I think you'll see it with the recording, it all comes up, I'll do the recording in a minute. And I've adjusted that right back up to where I've now adjusted the laser range finder to. And uh, I looked online and, and saw a video for that. And basically, it's, it's fairly simple, but you press the menu button down at the same time as pressing the day-night button to switch it from day-night. You press them both down at the same time, hold them down for a second or two, and a separate menu will come up with a, an XY menu on it. And you just rotate the knob at the front, single press to change it from X to Y, and you move it up to exactly where your rangefinder is now then you press and hold exit the menu and that goes bang on so hopefully I've got all that set up this is the first time I'm going to use it and try it so I'm going to load up some ammo now I'll show you the zoom and then we'll see how effective maybe the laser rangefinder is I've put so a little bit more data on the ballistic what's it to try and get it in I've taken the speed from the rifle to try and get it a bit more accurate and we'll see how uh, how we go so I'll load up the uh, the mag and etc and do some shooting and we'll see uh, see what we've got now There it is. Okay, I'll fire up the scope. You 
Okay, here we go. Let's get the uh, recording on. We're recording, so now you can see what I'm seeing. Or hopefully, I'll put it up somewhere on the screen or full screen with you. So I've already got it mugged up a bit there. So I'm not quite sure what icons are on on display when I'm recording, but hopefully the mag the zoom is so that's 5.6 that's my 50 meter zero that's 5.6 although these ranges we'll try the range finder in it because depending on where i sit it's slightly different but that's 5.6 one click 6.6 .6. another click 7.8 another click 9.2 and another click 11.2 so that's a much nicer range of magnification now let's come back down 11.2 9.2 7.8 6.6 that's my 100 just over 100 meters i think that is target there so 5.6 6.6 7.6 9.2 11.2 full mag and that's lovely and i tell you what i don't have to hardly if anything adjust the focus i can see that really well that's because of that tiny little hole on the front i don't know what they call it but it affects the depth of field or something and it works so you don't have to i can shoot at 100 and 50 without having to adjust the the focus as you can see on the recording, hopefully it's the same as what I'm looking at there. It's literally bang on. Okay, let's give the laser rangefinder a chance. Recording is on. Uh, let's give it a bleep. Let's see where the box and that is now. Now, I had a quick go. And this laser rangefinder is really struggling with all the loose grass, tall grass and everything. I can get a good range hit with this, or much easier. This is actually struggling a, a little bit. So, for instance, that there, it's saying it's 48 meters, which is about right. Flashing a 50, yeah. But that one there, it's saying 54. Well, he's just in front of that. You can see it's just, it won't, I can't get it to reflect off of that target. If I go on the floor there, 48, that's about bang on. Let's lock it at 48, I would say. Oh, it's not going to change the zero at all. Let's give it a bang at 48. 5.6 mag. And that, of course, on my zero, is spot on. Let's give it a little bit more mag, middle mag. Range again. This one. You see, it's really struggling. Because 60, it's about 60, according to my other range finder, 60. So if I can get it at the base, yeah, that's 65. Let's try 65. Come on, Lee. Made a right mess of that, and I got around stuck in there. Okay, where are we? That one. Yep, that's good. Enough. What else can we ping on? Uh, here we've got something that's really close like 30 yeah there we go so right there it's saying 80 90 that's about 75 meters i know that let's try and get at the bottom there we go 72 let's let's give that a ping at 72. now right where i'm sat i can't feel any wind 
but halfway through walking down there look look at that you can see it's it's got a left to right it's breezy as hell let's hold dead center though there we go let's try again i've got some other stuff out here longer range that one there it is about 90, oh yeah, it's about 88, see it seems to reflect good there. Let's have a look at that, see if we can hear that. Um, I think I hold slightly to the left. And we got it. Now the one that has eluded me today is this. Cannot get the wind right on this one. So it's saying 99 down there, 101 up there. Let's try it at 100 meters. Let's hold on the left. I'm not sure, I think that, by the sounds of it, hit the, the wood somewhere. So I don't know if it's high or low. Try a little bit extra holding. Hmm, it sounds as though it's hitting the wood that I've got that target screwed to so we might be a tiny bit out Let's give it a little bit more elevation there nope that's gone into the scrub I cannot see these bullets or anything of course so um without having something behind it I don't know where I'm going so let's just try Again. 101, 102. Let's try it on the 102 that I've there. Try a little bit low and left. Now I think that might have hit it. You see it? That might have just hit about there ish. There was one already hit about there. Let's try again. Give it a little bit more center. Not sure if that was the same ish again. Definitely moved whether it hit the plank it screwed on or not. Let's give that one one more shot anyway, but I'm struggling at 100 meters, so there's a bit of fine tuning still to do. Let's give it a little bit more wind in case. No, that was too much wind. Okay, that's all with me 10. Yeah, so it's not quite bang on there, although it's probably my shooting is missing and not calling that wind because I can feel the wind coming from behind me but as soon as you walk a third of the way down there it's blowing left to right and swirling around a bit but really good system I do like this system should we shove a couple more in and just bang a few targets closer just for the shits and giggles let's get five more and we'll bang a few closer in. I think we're still recording. We are. So let's try. That one was alright, wasn't it? Yeah. 48, 49. Yeah, well, that's a bit simple. One. Let's try this one. Let's get a raging off the ground around 63 I think it was yeah let's try that 
Ooh, that's nice. I need to get something a bit more solid, maybe, to hold those things. Let's try the what I know is the 70. That is, let's try and get a reflection. Yeah, it's about 71 will be close enough. I'm sat in a different spot, so all these ranges are slightly different. But yeah, out of 70, we're definitely on. Let's see if we can get that one. Let's see if we can get that one there again. Which is around 85, I think. It's saying 90, try and get a reading at the ground. Go, yeah. And this one right close, just for the shits and giggles. It's a tiny bit high on the. There we go. Lovely. Oh, still got one more shot. There we go. So yeah, bang on, seems to be bang on out to 85 anyway. I just can't manage to hit that 100 to 102 target. I don't know if the wind is just taking it too much now. But yeah, very happy with that. The update's much better. And at night, I'll be able to see exactly where that splash, that laser rangefinder is. But I did adjust that marker that you can see there, that little yellow cross. And it's in a nice position now. Let's zoom back out a bit. It's in a nice position. Yeah, good to go. I'm liking that. Problem is now I'm getting it set up on here. I was really wanting to swap this back onto the impact. But we'll see how it goes. Stop that one. But yeah, lovely bit of kit. And I must say, I've got to say again about this. What, what would you call it on a digital? If it was an optical scope, I'd call it an eye box. But it's just the best eye view of any electronic scope I've looked. You've not got to be anywhere behind it. There's something to do about this optical glassy lens they've got on the back of it or something here. Because I can see the screen already here I'm not even right behind it and as I move in full screen I can move around see the edges it's like oh it's a pleasure to actually look at the screen through this anyway that's a part DS thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, get out and see you again soon